I'm how you say, uh, it, it's sad because in life today, in the system, you're you're proven guilty until you prove your innocence. Um, so I hate to throw stones at him, but I know his situations with yeah. Leo. I mean, it's yeah. highly publicized. It's not a lie. I mean, yeah. But, but I'll let it play out, and we'll see what the evidence produces. I mean, yeah, you know, you're yeah. 30 years old messing around with 13-year-old little girls. You yeah, know, and you just, know, yeah, if you're I can't 30, listen to your music no more. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I can't watch you go, <laughs> either. Um, <laughs> I want to say hey, this listen, again, myself, my co-host, the Wolverine, this is surviving the system. I want to say this. R. Kelly, to me, proved that he was a, a pedo years ago. Do you remember the situation with Aaliyah where he married her? She was 14, and he comes out with that song, He Just Just a Number. Yeah. Are you, are you serious? Well, he was obviously thinking about it. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, look, I'm screwing this 14-year-old, but guys, age is just a number. How old was he now? I think then he was like 25, 26. I mean, come on, bro. She's 14. But now, I want to see... And Aaliyah looked young then, too. She, she did. She young. did. So, R. Kelly, is, it seems, got assaulted in jail. Let's take a look at it. For a series wow. of child sex abuse charges, he was reportedly attacked He's in his jail cell arrest. by a fellow inmate. Oh. R. Kelly is awaiting the fate of his many acts of sexual abuse with underage women. On Thursday, it's reported a frustrated inmate walked into his cell where he was reportedly sitting on his bed when the inmate went on a full attack and jumped Kelly right in his cell. Federal law enforcement sources revealed to TMZ that the inmate walked into Kelly's cell and began punching him because he was, quote, angry about the detention facility being placed on lockdown. A lockdown has occurred on multiple occasions, mostly as a result of R. Kelly protesters outside the jail, and inmates appear to be sick of it. The fight yeah. reportedly didn't last long. However, it is still unclear whether another inmate or guards broke it up. So, so R. Kelly getting that ass whooped in jail, which, is that shocking? They, they whooping him, not even for being a pedo. They just whooping him because they, they can't get their the For the inconvenience, the yeah. I mean, come on. Listen, man, you remember when R. Kelly was the biggest thing on earth? Man, I mean, everybody wanted him in the movies, yeah. soundtracks, everything. Remember him and Jay-Z did that joint Best of Both yeah, Worlds? Man. And, you know, he was he was everything in R&B. And it's, it, it's, it's baffling so, to me how yeah. some man in that position. Could, I mean, you got any women, all the women, and you, you want to get some fourteen-year-old. Yeah, like man, to me, I like you know a nice. I want a woman. I want a nice. I want a woman. woman. I don't want no. There ain't girl. no fourteen-year-old girl gonna look like that. You know, and this goes back to just being morally sound. You know, I don't want to bring street beefs into it, but I will. You know, the reason why street beefs is what it is, and it's a brotherhood, because us at the core, we have a moral code that we live by. Well, and you we, at we the core, stand you've by. held it, and you've, you've, you've put people in positions and gotten people out of positions if they show, uh, you know, bad morals and character, and that's why Kelly was examined so, by a doctor shortly after things died down who determined that there was no broken bones or serious injuries to report. <laughs> a spokesperson for the Federal Bureau of Prisons also revealed to TMZ that they were not He's able to comment on an inmate's conditions or confinement or medical status due to privacy and safety reasons. R. Kelly is currently doing time at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago after turning himself in at the Cook County Jail in Chicago back in 2019. His lawyer, Stephen Greenberg, revealed that Kelly has since been placed in solitary confinement following the meeting as he spoke out yesterday claiming that, quote, that's the only place that can protect him. So let me ask you, um, you know, VIP. R here's R. Kelly, like we just said, the biggest R&B singer on earth at the time, and he's out here pissing on 14-year-old girls. Another video, and again, I'm not going to detail it of him and a young girl, and this guy is just, oh my goodness, he, he's a predator, y'all. Uh, to me... R. Kelly? Yeah, he's, he's a predator. Okay. He's a predator. Um... I just feel like he's going to get what he's got coming. Well, and if listen, you're out there if, messing with young girls, if, you deserve if, it. In his position <laughs> with the clout and the money and, and what he is and then his age, you're going after women, young girls. Sorry, I didn't mean women. Young girls who are very, very impressionable. And most of them probably had family issues, didn't grow up with a father figure probably. These what these predators do. And that's how you know they're a predator. Why is an older man with all this money and all this power – Trying to get some little thirteen year old. It don't make chip. no sense. It's, that that is like that is like any any professional person going to a high school 
right. and saying, hey, which one of y'all girls, a famous singer, come with me? I yeah. mean, that's sick. Come on. Well, I mean, again, it shows something within him right. that is just fucked up. Taking and advantage of, of evil stuff, man. So I, I've, uh, I've gotten into an argument, I'm sure you guys have too, that this stuff should be forgivable. Oh, listen. No, A, it shouldn't be forgivable. Here's why. Let me get into why pedophilia, real quick, should never be forgiven. Because it, if it's, it's the same as a murder. When you molest a child, it changes them for life. This is a proven fact. You just took that child and whatever they would have been. And their family. And their family. And you damaged it for life. And by the numbers... The difference between murder and rape and child molestation, the difference in the numbers are usually people that kill someone usually don't kill again. Very few serial killers, you know. Pedophiles reoffend at an alarming rate. More than rate. anybody. An alarming. Alarming. Listen. It's, it's what literally makes them happy. So it's all, it's like a ticking time. So in, in, in comparison, when you've got a guy whose inclination right. is young children eventually that will come back out. It, it, it's like, it's like a, put it in a predator sense, it's like a shark that tastes human flesh. They got to go ahead and find the it and kill it. Because it then again. all of a sudden they say, well, this is easy meat. Yep. This is easier than chasing seals and fish and stuff. I see these humans. I just eat them. Let me tell y'all, there predator. was one story. Um, there was a pedophile. He got, he, he raped a child, got sent to prison. They let him out on good behavior after like eight years. He gets out and murders two children. Okay? That's how they get down. It's unreal. And then you give people 20 years, 30 years for drugs. It's just unreal. It's unreal. These people only get a year, six months. Well, look at they get. They give me 86 months for for a coke. They never caught me with no wire test no more. Just because people said it. Well, I will say this. It's crazy. in regards to pedophile, they are getting better about it. Well, thank They're God. They're starting to light these fuckers well, up. Well, and, and oh, wow. that's because Why do you think they th- that's because of people like us exposing yeah. the people in positions of letting this stuff go. They, the, the, the laws are very put in a situation for a reason. Why, why are they that way? Well, it's the t- like I was, look, my little brother. Big shout out to my little brother. I love him to death. I told him when it comes down to the numbers, you either believe one or two things. You either believe black people. And believe me, I'm going to tell you what most people, I've had a lot of people tell me this. Either you believe black people are born inherently to commit more crimes or the laws target them. It's one or the other because the numbers say one or the other. Numbers now, do don't you know, lie. Do you know how many people literally have looked me in the face, and I know y'all people are out there, and tell me, well, black people do. They commit more crimes than white people. They're 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 just natural. I, I look at these people and I say, this is this is no no this is no bullshit, man. I'm telling you, I plead with people, and this is the this is the this is the people you're trying to help. You know, it's and like, understand. It's, and I want to go to what Esteban man. just said. He asked, "Why did this go for so long?" Well, for one, you'd be shocked how many people have pedophilic tendencies on the low, judges, lawyers. Right. But on the flip side. Even in regards to what you just said about racism and sentencing, you'd be shocked how many judges and lawyers and probation officers have racist tendencies. So when you see these things go on for long periods of time, it's because it's ingrained in people. Certain races will do certain crimes more than the other. No, I, th- I say it's I it's believe fair to believe in certain speed. exactly certain so cities and yes. certain environments. Um. Here's an example. I always get the racists when I argue with the racists online. Well, look at all the black countries, Africa, and them shitholes. Go to Bosnia. Right. Holler at my man, uh, the sexy Albanian. Ask him about Albania. <clears throat> yeah, Albania. Not, not white white people. as can be, yeah. Russia. Yeah. Let's talk about Russia. Russia isn't exactly great. <laughs> okay, so just stop with unless the you're with the Unless you're with the mafia. You're with the mafia, you're good. Yeah. So, Until you mess up. Now let's uh let's I promised I would do this now. But hey, and and then they even go a step further when we we were talking about the reason why it's going on so far and long is you got to realize history, history back in history they allowed men to wear marry young uh, younger women. It was almost a sense of power, so, right. a sense of things. So that's why you have these people like Mr. Trump, 
these people of power, they look at it as another goal, another trophy, another thing in life. Well, when they get a certain age, they had to have that that certain do wife, you, or they're not keeping up with the Joneses. Do you think that back in the day when it was more considered okay, parents still didn't like it? Like when they had to. I think I think a lot back then, uh, like parents were comfortable time? with it because of of the money situation. And but but then too, you got to realize it was more so of lifespan, health lifespan was different too. Yeah, People right. didn't live as long. Um, right. They were trying to have more kids, so you know everything's different. Back in in the also, Bible time, they were trying to replenish so much, so they're trying to you know they got a whole a thousand acres. They trying so that's why they had wanted to have five wives so they could have thirty kids. But also back then, we didn't have an understanding of human psychology and the effects on young children. Well, they didn't we live that long. It. They right. didn't live that long. Right. Men men lived to fifty, women lived to forty. So, I mean now. <laughs> This is, this is what I want to get into. I promise y'all. So the other week we spoke on radicalism in Christianity. I want to go a different route 